not a lawyer, but let me tell you the story behind why two Compton police officers may be heading to jail soon for a cover-up they did in 2020. It is a wild story. First came across this story on Twitter. Megan Cuniff, who is a reporter, tweeted this, and I had to go read the actual plea agreement to understand exactly what happened. On April 13th, 2020, two officers by the name of Vega and Hernandez were in Compton and they were harassing some black boys at a skate park. And while that's happening, there's like 10 to 15 other men at the skate park. One of the men in that bunch, who the plea agreement calls J.A., starts telling the officers that they should leave the black men alone. The officers don't like that. The officers are telling him to shut up and challenging him to a fight. The officers then drive to the opening of the skate park, grab him and put them inside of their cop car. They never put him in handcuffs, never tell him he's under arrest. They never read him his rights. They just like put him in the car. The officers then drive away with J.A. in the back seat. And at some point, they tell J.A. that they're going to drop him off in some known gang area and get him beat up. So while they're driving, the officers see another group of boys on some bikes. The officers, for some reason, believe that one of the boys on the bikes has a firearm. Officer Hernandez gets out and starts chasing the boy on foot. Then Officer Vega, who is driving, continues following in the car. Officer Vega drives the car down an alley and ends up hitting an alley wall and a parked car. Yes, he hits a parked car and the alley wall. And yes, J.A. is still in the back seat. So J.A. and Officer Vega climb out of the now crashed car. And J.A. is bleeding because he got a cut above his eye during the crash. Officer Vega tells him to leave, to like walk away from the scene. J.A. leaves and then Vega radios for backup and he says that he got into a car accident because he was chasing somebody. So he needs backup to come help him find the guy. Backup comes and starts searching the area looking for this person and they happen upon a man walking. That man was J.A. Backup officers believe that J.A. is the person, then detain J.A. and bring him back to Officer Vega. So Vega is like, nah, that's not him, let him go. But the backup officers are like, we can't let him go, he's hurt, he's bleeding. So eventually Vega tells his that J.A. was actually in the back of the car during the accident and that he was in the back of the car because they arrested him for being under the influence of drugs. A full and complete lie. J.A. gets taken to the hospital and he's given stitches for the cut above his eye. And then he's given a ticket, a citation for being under the influence of methamphetamine. Are you guys listening to this? Are you following? Then the officers go back to the Compton police station and write up incident reports. In the reports, they say that they detained J.A. because he exhibited symptoms of a person under the influence. They say he was doing things like sweating profusely, rapid speech, muttering words, erratic behavior, teeth grinding, and heavy breathing. Y'all. They also say in the report that J.A. was threatening to harm people at the skate park and that he threatened to harm the officers. They say J.A. was checked for injuries and then held in another cop car until the paramedics. They put all of this in the report. Just lying. The FBI did an investigation. So yesterday, Officer Vega pled guilty to one count of deprivation of rights under color of law. And that is a crime that carries a statutory maximum sentence of 10 years in federal prison. And then Hernandez, the other officer, pled guilty to one count of conspiracy. So his sentencing is scheduled for January 8th, 2024. And he's facing a maximum sentence of five years in prison. 